Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome on in. If you are coming back, welcome on back. Today we are going to be discussing the Screwed Shop Refresh mod and with the Thrills and Frills, Melon Loader no longer opens up the game. So we are going to be utilizing Bepinex with a fix that will allow you to have the Screwed Shop mod. Now, just as a disclaimer, the developers of the Screwed Shop mod did say if you change some of the files, it could possibly break your game. So I will include the screenshot for you to go ahead and take a look at those and you can decide whether or not you want to move forward. Okay, so for the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna enter into our shop just to see what the items are so that way we can know when this mod is working. So currently I have the harp and Mike Wazowski chair over on the right hand side and we have the Beauty and the Beast fountain over on the left top. So we're going to remember those items and we're gonna save my game and then we're gonna go ahead and start the process. All right, so you want to completely exit out your game and we are going to go ahead and open up our browser. So I utilize Firefox. You can completely use whatever browser you want. And we're going to go ahead to the Scrooge Shop Refresh mod. In the mod requirements, you can utilize the Bepinex. However, where I want to go is I want to go under posts and there is a creator that created a post that told you exactly what the latest version is. So I'm gonna go ahead and be this and open that link. Now the link leads directly to the download. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to open the folder with that download. And we're gonna go ahead and right click extract all now you don't want to extract it all into your downloads folder. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and extract this right where our game is located. So I'm gonna click browse, and then we're gonna to go to where Steam library is located. This can be completely different for you. So for me, it is in my D drive. I'm gonna go ahead into Steam library, Steam apps, common, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and then this is where my game will be located. So from there, this is the file that we want. We want it in that top file. We're not gonna go in any deeper. Select file, extract. And once this is complete, you should see a Bepinex file in your Dreamlight Valley folder. Now, with the Bepinex, we can open the game here just to make sure that the game does open. And you should see the log pop up. We're going to keep up and X loading in everything and then you should see this red text okay now that the game is loaded in we can open up this log by hitting control escape and then you can click onto the log now there is the red text we want to get rid of this red text up here now i have not downloaded the mod yet but we're gonna go ahead into the screwed shop and it is the same shop so we're gonna go ahead and exit out and we're gonna go ahead and change the information. So Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Dreamlight Valley, click on Bepinex, Fig, Bepinex. And now when you scroll down, you should see Unity Log Listening and it is set to true. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna erase true and we're gonna write false and save that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the Scrooge Refresh Bepinex version. We already have Bepinex. So we're just gonna go into the manual download, slow download, I'm gonna open up where that file is and we are going to extract. And you can extract it straight from here and cut out that DDL file to put the DDL file in. Go back to common, Dreamlight Valley. And so this is where it ends up being very different from Melon Loader. So in Melon Loader, they downloaded this mods folder. In Bepinex, it is not called a mods folder. So you're going to go into Bepinex and it's called a plugin. So you're going to paste that Screwed Shop Refresh mod into the plugin section. 
Now we're going to go ahead and close all that out and reopen our game. Now the mod will not load in at every one hour. The mod is at to 12 hours, but we're just going to open up the game to make sure everything is running and we have not changed anything that doesn't need to be changed. Now that the game is loaded in, we're going to go ahead and check out our screw shop. And our shop is the same because we are still in the 12 hours. So we're going to go ahead and shut that down. Go into the files. So you're going to go back to the game. Go back into Bepinex. And now we're going to click on the config file and you should see the screwed shop refresh. Now, if you do not see this file in here, that means you did not open up your game since you added in the mod. So once you add in the mod, you do need to open up your game in order to get this file. So we're going to click on this file and we're going to change our frequency hours to one. And you can use any number between one and 24 for this and save that. And then we are going to reopen our game. Now the shop that you saw was at my 10 o'clock. So it is now 11 for me. So the time should change my shop because I'm in a brand new hour. Now that we're back in the game, we're going to go ahead and head back over to the shop. And as you can see, the items are completely different from what I originally had. This means that the mod is working and you are able to get a new shop every hour. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos similar to this or any build videos in the future, please be sure to subscribe to my channel where I will be posting more Dreamlight Valley content. Thank you and see you on the next one.